Hi there, welcome to QA Box Let's Test. If you have not already subscribed to this channel, kindly do so. And if you like the video, give them the thumbs up. All right, so in this video, we are going to talk about stubs. So stubs are like spies, but they completely replace the function. You know, this makes it possible to make a stubbed function do whatever you like. For example, through an exception, return a specific value, etc. Stubs in Synon support the full test spy API in addition to methods which can be used to alter the stubs behavior. All right. So this makes stubs perfect for a number of tasks such as you know replacing uh, those AJAX or you know external calls to, for example, database or you know to a file, you know which basically makes the test slow and difficult to write. It can also help in triggering the different code paths depending upon function output and also testing unusual conditions. For example, what happens when an exception is thrown? So this is a very common uh, example, right? So you have a jQuery Ajax functionality in your application, right? So how are you going to test it? Testing that is difficult because the code sends a request to whatever server, you know, that we have configured. So we need to have it available all the time right and add a special or, or or add a special case to the code to not do that in a test environment which is a you know big no no so you should almost never have test specific in your code all right so how are we going to fix that all right so we're going to fix that with the help of uh, stub uh, in synon all right for javascript projects and let's first understand, you know, behind the scene, how does this stub work? So this is one object and which has got a method get. And when we invoke this function, right, A would be printed onto the console. Now we want to stub this method. How can we do that? So all we're going to say is we're going to create one more method and assign uh, this get method to that, all right? So now this method also has the behavior of get okay now what we do next we change this get method to let's say print anything else onto the console all right so now when you invoke this get method on this object it is going to print anything else so the function behavior is changed it's it's kind of stubbed right so next is once the job is done right we want to restore the original method so how are we going to do that so we have the reference still stored in this stubbed get method right so now we are going to assign this function to the original method right and now when you invoke the original method you will get a all right so this is how we can um, stub things but you know synan offers a lot of other assertions and features so you know you can write your own stubs but I'll prefer, you know, to use a uh, synon. Okay, so let us now understand what are we going to do practically. So these are my two synchronous methods inside the class user. And this one is asynchronous, All right? So we are going to cover both the examples, synchronous and asynchronous. So let's understand the first two methods. So this is a greet, it accept a parameter and then it returns, you know, hello and append the, the pa parameter that we are going to pass, right? And greet message, as, as you could see that, you know, this is invoking this greet method internally and whatever result that we get back on calling this method is being stored in a variable and simply returning that, all right? And in this asynchronous one, what are we doing? So we are hitting an endpoint using Axios, all right? And we are getting a, you know, a user response or basically you know a json object back which contains some information regarding the user for example id um, you know first name and email and so on okay so this function return that data simple so i've created the object of this class and exported that object directly so now first thing uh, what are we going to do so we are going to first run these methods uh, you know without stub so that you know we see that one, uh, these the setup is working. Second, uh, we are going to see when we talk about the asynchronous method. All right. So I have created the basic templates, right, just to save time. And what are we going to do next? 
so we are going to execute this function all right so let me open a terminal and run the command npm test and this should work okay so it's working and if i just say one two and if i run this it will fail okay so it's fail and we could see the reason why okay so hello world is not equal to hello world one two great so now what are we going to do next we are going to stub the greet method all right so let's do that how are we going to do it's very simple it's just like spy so you have to say const stub is equal to synon dot stub and then you have to pass in the object which you want to stub which in our case is user and then the method that we want to stub the method is greet okay so what's next so when this method is invoked so we are going to say stub dot with args okay and we are going to pass in the value let's say two and then it should returns okay let's say goodbye okay this is what we are going to do now we are going to simply invoke this this is how we are going to invoke this okay and let us run the assertion at the end so this is our assertion but instead of hello world since we have stubbed that so it is going to return this not there over here all right let me save this and now don't want to execute the first method just want to execute this so now let us run that and see if it passes expected undefined okay so we have said synon.stub user greet all right <clears throat> not two basically we had to pass this wall i don't know why i put two there okay and let me execute this now okay so it's passed and if i just removed one exclamation from here and execute that it would fail All right, so it's failed and we could see the reason why now what else can we do here so we can also check the stub behavior on consecutive calls so we have called this method only once all right so if we want to execute this again so how can i stub this all right so what i can do is and if you're working on version 1.8 uh, which I am using in this example. So a few mm. things have been changed earlier. We had to use, uh, you know, on first call, mm. but now that's been changed, and we have to use on call. And here we are going to say if it's a first call, it is going to be zero. Okay. And let me just okay dot. And on second call, we want to let's say print something else. So for second call, this has to be one. And here we are going to say let's say simply amazing okay and now let me write one more assertion okay and this has to be one this has to be just once two okay one and two and this has to be simply amazing okay so let's run this again and see if everything works okay great so everything works so if you want to do more reading on what all different options are available to you on stub so just open synonjs.org documentation and go on this page stub and then you can read 
a lot of these things right so as you could see i just covered this one stub dot on call right uh, with args uh, and you know earlier we had to use this but now we have to use stub on call all right great so next thing is asynchronous code so now we don't want to execute this and let us skip this right great so now this is skipped so the first thing we are going to do is we are going to run this method right and check that the server is responding id equal to two email is equal to this and first name equal to channel so let us execute that npm test okay so this is being passed right and it has taken 784 milliseconds all right and let us do one thing let us turn the network off and rerun the test case and of course this will not work we know so our unit test case is dependent on that particular server right and on the availability of network on the machine we are running it right so it this test case is not running inside the memory and we have to target that you know our unit test case should be able to run in memory all right so how can we fix this so we have to stub this method all right and instead of getting the response back from the server we are going, going to generate our own fake response okay so that's what we have to do in here and this is how you are going to stub this so this is the object this is the method right and this is the response that we want to generate when we hit this endpoint and what do we have to do next we have to say stub like we did in the first example dot with args okay and here we have to say two right and then we are going to say returns okay and then promise dot resolve and then we are going to simply pass in this value output okay so the assertion part is done what's next we have to invoke our method how are we going to invoke it right so we have to make this uh, test case right async so you have to make this async and i've already covered that how to run asynchronous code in in mocha right so now you have to say const result is equal to you're going to say await and then user dot get user data by id and we have to pass in here two all right so this thing when you invoke the function should match with what you're passing in the with args all right so now we have act on this next thing that we are going to do is i'm just going to take a copy of these expect statements and use it in here and modify it slightly because this is what we are expecting now okay and remember there is still no network right and i hope everything should work so I want to execute this let me see if all other are skipped so to skip this as well right so yeah looks good so we are ready to run and there is still no network okay so we say npm test all right so yes of course there is no data because it has to be replaced with this and let us execute that now all right so our test case has been passed great and it has taken us uh, only 103 milliseconds all right uh, and let's try it with are we one two three and if we execute that it would fail all 
okay it's failing and let us do one more thing now so let us execute both of these so one would fail because it cannot reach out to that server because there is no network connectivity and other one would pass okay this one would pass let us see that right so one is passing and on the other one we got this error okay which one is passed stub async method all right so that's how we can eliminate our dependency on external networks or servers thank you so much hi there welcome to qa box let's test if you have not already